It is often said that BIM is 10% technology and 90% sociology, but if that's the case, why is 90% of the energy and resources focused on the technology? My book addresses the number one problem of BIM, not technology, but personality. I wrote it for people who say they want to change, but in the end have a hard time doing so. My book provides much needed background into a topic that many architects and firms do not yet fully understand. I wrote it to collect and diffuse knowledge on the subject in this time of transition and to teach design professionals the importance of working together collaboratively. There's a gap in learning along these lines in the profession, and my book sought to fill this gap. My book comes at a time when few are focusing on the people side of the change equation. Written from a firm culture standpoint, it addresses BIM as a cultural process. BIM and integrated design focuses on people, relationships, and workflow. These subjects aren't as fickle as software and computers. Technology may come and go. The way people behave in response to technology, however, does not change.